man has been developing tools to help him handle increasing amounts of data. It's an inch-long storage device that uses solid-state memory to store persistent data from your computer. So let's do this thing. I know you love them, Tom. That's why I keep doing them. <laughs> Welcome to the Lot Book Show. This is episode 58 for the 10th of October, 2017. My name is Stuart Edwards, and of course, we with uh, have us with we have with us tonight um, Rob of the ever long haired one. Hi, Rob. How are you? Hello. Uh, we have Luke of the well no haired one. Uh, how are you? <laughs> that is usual. <laughs> uh, and, and, and Tom of the too much haired one. How are you, Tom? Uh, sore throat, but I'm okay. <laughs> it's going to be an exciting, energy-filled show. <laughs> Why are we bothering? Let's all just bugger off. Over. Let's just go. Oh, <laughs> white. <Right. laughs> <laughs> and excuse me as well, I've got a nice cough as well, so this is all going to be fantastic. Welcome to the UK, everybody. <laughs> Right then, so uh, let's let, let's start this properly. Uh, so um, tonight's show, what we're going to talk about? We're going to be talking about uh, play by mail and, and downtime. Uh, we have had some responses back from that. Uh, Rob went to a stag do, but it was all lab related. Uh, Tom went to Twilight Realms. We've got increases in followers for our podcast, and quite a few actually. So thank you all for that. Uh, we've got updates to our web pages as well, so we'll talk a little bit about that to, just to fill you in on where everything is. Um, I've got a brand new phone case, uh, which we're showing off in a minute, uh, which you can get up on the Redbubble site. And we're uh, talking about uh, heathen LARP and the crewing of it. So that's quite a bit to pack into this wonderful, fun-packed show. Uh, so let's... <laughs> So should we should we crack on? But before we actually do crack on, um, I think there's something that we we do kind of need to touch on, and what have you. And that's the uh, and it's a little bit down to start the show with, but it's I think it's important to say something. Uh, the the shooting that happened in Las Vegas. I know we have quite a few uh, listeners and followers in the US, so our thoughts are with you, you know, um, and have been with you since the shooting um, incident. So you know our hearts our hearts just go out to you but as i've always said in these sorts of things as well make sure you get out and and donate blood and things like that because it's always important when anything horrible happens like this that hospitals have a ready supply of blood and what have you to treat those affected by it so that's all i want to say on it but you know our thoughts are with everybody uh, involved their families and friends Right, so uh, let's let's crack on and try to make this show a little bit lighter af after that because that's what we like to do. So let's let's talk about a little bit, um, Rob. I know it's been you mainly has been looking at this, um, the the PBM and the downtime uh, thing that we sort of mentioned last month. What sort of responses have we had back? Okay, uh, not perhaps not as many we'd like, but. Well, actually, the reason we're looking at it is this is actually stemmed from an idea by Luke, from Luke who wanted to start an open discussion on PBM, downtime, communicating out of game stuff to players. Yeah. Well, yeah. well, as you know, Stu and I are, are, are very keen PBMers, um, as everyone will know. Um, yeah. And there's nothing I like more than being sat in front of my computer just discussing plot with it. Oh, wait, who am I kidding? I hate PBM, but I wanted to at least talk it through because the thing that I have found is that, you know, when you look at social media, once people have had an event like the Twilight Realms or, you know, kind of the gathering or whatever you go, there's so much hype, isn't there? So much excitement. We should do this more. We should do this. Um, and people get so carried away when they, they're there and they do the plot that I think PBM is something that maybe we should utilize a little bit more. I know I, I've, not always had time to do it. I think the problem for me is I use so much technology in the daytime that by the time I come home, the last thing I want to do is log on. 
Um, but having said that, when you think of, you know, throughout the year, if you only do one event a year, and that could be, you know, the Kesarin or it could be whatever you, you, you're doing, um, then it's nice to have that kind of uh, link, is it not? When you are, you know, and you're not, you know, kind of role playing, when you're not seeing each other, where you can carry on the story. And then lots of things throughout the year then can happen that are all done via email that would then help the story move along when you finally meet up. Um, and I just wanted to kind of really look at that because that downtime that you have in between scenarios can be, you know, a year. Let's 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 call it what it is. Um, and that's a, that's a long time, isn't it, to, you know, kind of get yourself wound up about something. It happens over three days and then all of a sudden it's another year again before you actually get to meet each other. And I know that with the Kesering, it is only once a year that they, they kind of meet up. Um, and I, th I just think it's a shame. And I, I suppose I wanted to find out how other people deal um with the potential downtime i mean I, I kind of feel sorry for those people who do kind of a few events so you might do twilight realms and then you might go to the gathering then you might do something with cares and then you might go and do something with gideon and you know all those kind of things where you're dealing with five or six different stories uh, but you only ever meet them once every six months do you see, okay. do you see what i mean um well, and it was that i wanted to kind of progress really as a, as a okay. conversation but let's check a couple of things in there yeah <clears throat> Because uh, uh, we've had a response from John Pickford. Now, he does the Altered Reality Lab. Yeah. Uh, that we've been mentioned in the show once or twice. Um, what they do is they have a post-game and a pre-game downtime period in which the players post what they do in terms of research or crafting films or crafting things or waging war or handling and, and managing food and how they're staying at events so that that input can be passed around from event to event. So they basically the players think it themselves and the vet team have a look at that and then make decisions that affect the start of the next game right so that's yeah. actually quite good and that, and that runs for six months periods at a time right okay yeah okay no, um, good. gideon is really interesting i better start by explaining to anybody who's not sure who gideon is gideon runs wyvern's tales uh stories and histories yeah, yeah. and also the forest argent um he also runs he's also the ref and designer for the Forest Argent uh, Lap Club. Now what they do is really cool is that they have a weekly opportunity for people to post what their characters are doing to Gideon via Facebook. Okay. <laughs> okay. Yeah, yeah. Now bear in mind that his games he have he has like four major events a year and also multiple one or two or probably two actually weekend events every month. Right. Okay. No, no, he has the major events are weekenders. The monthly ones are day events during a weekend. Okay. Right, okay. A normal amount more, more laughs than a lot of people. I was yeah. going to say that is a very active group, isn't it? Oh, yeah. yeah. They, they, they're super active, yes. Yeah. And so they, so they, they, they downtime between, between events uh, via a weekly Facebook slot. So he opened a slot on, say, when, every Wednesday on Facebook. Yeah. People post to him, he collates, he looks at responses, posts them back. So I was thinking, I'm thinking, you know, Facebook is so easy to create a character. You could almost create your character as, you know, I've got Luke Pitt as a, a kind of like a Facebook, you know, thing. But you could also have your character, could you not? You've got Luke Pitt as a character. Yeah, you have. Yeah, I've got Luke Pitt yeah, as a character. Yeah, he is, yeah. yeah. <laughs> um, so I, I suppose if you were taking that any further, you could then just sit there and say, well, this is my character. I'll answer as my character. And that would be your way of PBMing. Because I right. don't like this. You know how right. you get the email and then there's 50 billion things to read and then the last bit's oh God, actually no. for you to do. You know, just no. a domain. And you're something yeah, no. I, yeah. I, 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 I'm going to come out here and say that I really, really, really do not like playing by email. <laughs> But of course, I'm... this is the issue, though, isn't it? Is that like, and this is why I don't like it. Sorry, Stu, I'm just going to interrupt you. But next time you're going to talk, I'll wait until there's a bit, and then I'll interrupt you again. Is that all right? I'm and not... then I won't actually let you go and speak again because I think that would be really rude. Do you know what? I think that's because you know the thing. The thing is that actually, if I keep on interrupting you, you never get a chance to say anything. And I think that's really bad. Uh, it's it's one of the things you don't do in 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 uh, in, in radio broadcast. Um, it's, it's just <laughs> rude. Yeah, bad. <laughs> <laughs> oh, what are we like? But yeah, I I do agree. I think that um, you know the, the, I, I sometimes see the play by mail, and I think 
we've got to be focused about it. I think that um, whoever's managing the process needs to. I mean, for me, I'd much rather if I was doing Facebook. I mean, I spend, you know, in fairness and in all honesty, I probably spend quite a while on Facebook every day because you're always just looking at who's online and what are they doing and, you know, kind of gifts that you can send to people that are random, you know, kind of. Stuart, you can talk when. Put your hand down. <laughs> um, um, but. <laughs> <laughs> I, well, well I, I, I was going to say because you, you know you, you were saying about about Facebook and what have you yeah. and create a, a persona. I don't think you can do that because Facebook, I don't think, allows you to create a, a pseudonym uh, per se. I mean, you'd have to fudge a few things probably to get around it uh, and have a different log on. Um, Couldn't yeah. you call yourself Luke? Insert character name here. And then your surname, it'd still be all your details, wouldn't it? Well, the thing is that that doesn't really work because you, you still only have one account and you could have multiple characters and multiple games. Shut but up, I who's think... asking you? <laughs> 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 oh, <yeah>. <laughs> <laughs> but I like your idea. I mean, there's there, there's nothing stopping you creating perhaps like a bulletin board or something like that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, yeah but, uh, but don't forget yeah. Facebook's like at my age now. Here we go, bulletin board, send a fax. Yeah, <laughs> my facts. That's the thing. Yes. <clears throat> Sorry, Rob. What are you saying? I, okay, you I should be interrupted by Stuart. Okay. I shall well, send then. pigeon forthwith. I have a good story about pigeons being fat, being faster than they than oh. um. Yes, we do. <laughs> and you sent it to me as well. You sarcastic <laughs> git. Like I don't need it rubbing in anymore now. I get it. My internet is absolutely shocking. I get it. I know. We didn't mention it's the thing. True. Yeah. yeah. No, you you blooming signed it. Oh. Mm. <laughs> but I, I I think it's good because I think um I, I was just thinking that there are so many different mediums out there, but we're traditionally just about the email, and I think that you know when I have read them, by the time I've read it all. And everyone's replied to all, so you you tend then to get the you either get discluded, so all of a sudden you'll get an email and they go, why haven't you been contacting us, which can be problematic, or you get an email that's you know kind of huge and vast, um, and and very little actually relates to you. And I think that um, for me this has actually turned me off wanting to do PBM, um, yeah. on the premise that you know I read a lot of emails anyway, and I get included in a, an awful lot of stuff. And it, and it hacks me off in industry where you get, you know, kind of the last three lines that are relevant to you. And, I, and I've been finding that with PBM. So it was more about just trying to find something that is, you know, how are the people doing it? If you meet more regularly, I suppose you could you could argue that, you know, is PBM necessary unless it's, you know, yeah. it's going to be more short okay. bursts. Well, you know, but when it's a year, year but, to year thing. But I, I, I know for myself personally, I mean, I, I mean, Luke, Luke will probably happily uh, say, yeah, yeah, <coughs> exactly what Edwards does. Uh, as soon as the email would come in on the PB thing, delete. Uh, don't care. <laughs> Guys, we have to put it in the subject matter. Please read this, Stuart. Yeah, yeah. yeah. And even then it would probably be delete. Uh, yeah. <laughs> there are boobs in this. Yeah, but guys, oh. hit Teddy's this, but you might be going to ask how he's doing, doing using email. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, <and that's> <laughs> um, you would come in, and as, as you say, Luke, it would be like reams of text, and it'd be like, oh, delete. <laughs> Fine, if anybody really wants me, they'll give me a call. <laughs> well, I suppose this is the issue, isn't it? I mean, I, once you actually get to uh, what it is you want to do. And, you know, you've written it all. And I can see you've got the Alistair syndrome there, haven't you? Where Alistair, his mind is on a whole different level, sees the matrix. And he is going to be kind of like, you know, he, he won't write something. He'll give you the glossary. There's an appendix. And there's usually kind of, you know, some referencing and the Harvard referencing as well. Um, I suppose... Well, he forgot the dramatis, the dramatis personae. Yeah, that's right. Yeah. <laughs> But yeah. I suppose from is anyone who's from, you know, kind of university would be pissing themselves right now just with Harvard referencing. Um, but realistically, mm. when you think of um, those kind of minds who will just literally give you so much information, I'm wondering whether you get time to actually reflect on that. I mean, I would need to, you know, kind of understand it. I'm wondering whether PBM is in itself a, a, a kind of a contradiction. Because are you really playing by mail or are you just asking and answering questions? Are you really truly role playing? And if so, is, is email the right kind of forum for it? 
Usually, uh, usually I would say that I was usually asking questions. Is it all right if I actually go and do this? Or my character goes and does this? Uh, yeah. yeah, but I, I'm, I'm still going to come out in favor saying, I don't think many people are using email anymore. And email's rubbish. Yeah. Tom, yeah. Have, have you ever done any, any, anything like this? Being, you know, one of the, the, the newest player of this group? Uh, in that respect, have you ever sort of done anything that's outside of the game that people have asked for your input for? You know, you know, uh, in between the games, have you what have you done? What has your character done, Tom? Um, I actually do play by mail. Kez does it every year, and I actually thoroughly enjoy it. I'm going to be completely different from you guys. Um, I do it by email purely because that's what Kez does. I have no problem with that. Um, evidently, I'm not as popular as all of you with the, the amount of emails that receive, which is kind of hurtful. Um, and okay. don't, please don't they're spam all, me. They're, uh, they're, they're, all, they're, they're all Russian brides and things, don't you worry yeah. about it. It's nothing, you know. <laughs> yeah, took them all and, for you there, Tom. Yeah, and... I, I enjoy it. Um, there's only one I've... Uh, no, well, that's not true. It's not strictly true. It's only ever ever one PBM I've ever done with uh, Balrog. Uh, occasionally, very, very rarely, Twilight Rounds does it. But they're, ve- they're normally very short and to the point and gets you to a certain point. Whereas Balrog is a year-long PBM. Yeah. So it, it is real time. So, for example, from the event at uh, the end of Balrog all the way up to the start of the next one, that is real time. That's how he wants to do it. A year has passed, and what you do in that PBM for that entire year is is what happens. And okay. it's something that I really enjoy because I enjoy – I just enjoy role-playing. And when you guys said, oh, I'm normally just answering questions or I'm normally just say I do this, well, with PBM, you get as much as you put in. Just like LARPing. So, for example, yeah. if you want a descriptive event, you know, an email and stuff like that, you do it. And if the person <laughs> is like the guys at Balrog, they will give you a descriptive return. If you just want something very basic and very simple, I do this, I do that, they will give you that in return. But I think it very much depends on the person doing the PBM, the, 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 the guys running the PBM. They have to accommodate for what type of person um what's great is that it should never be required in a lap yeah. i think that's a very very bad idea for it to be required um, but tom if i may interrupt you on that because that's a very very good point you've put there yeah. if we're saying that we're not going to require people then what happens to the story it carries on if you if you've got characters for example who are quite critical to it but who don't really like pbm there's no other alternative they either reply to all the emails or someone one of the refs has to sit there and say right this person now goes on another adventure or goes off somewhere and that's the only way they discount them but what happens if they're critical to the story okay. unless okay. the ref actually joins in I, and does yeah like, I, 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 I would say I'd, I, I'd like to jump in on, on on that one i would say that that if your character is critical to the story uh, and what have you, and you, <laughs> like myself, um, the, <laughs> you know, the the person running the PBM, because it, sometimes it isn't always the ref, or isn't always the creator, it could be someone else completely different, mm-hmm. yeah. uh, they will basically know there's no point emailing Stu, all he does is delete, right? I, w- I know what his character is like, I will just take it as his point of view, I will yeah. do it as him, right, and let him know what the outcome was, you know, before yeah. the game. By the way, your character did this. I know. And to be honest with you, ninety nine point nine 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 percent of the time, I'd be like, "Yeah, of course, fine." Yeah, they will <laughs> do very, okay, very guys. basic actions. Yeah. yeah. Okay, guys. They wouldn't we've go. Got, we've got a couple of responses coming in on from Ooh. chat. Do you want me to pop up those in in a mixture? Yeah. So yeah. We've had one from Matthew Morehouse and one from Matthew Webb. So the Matthews are being, are being chatty tonight. All of the Matthews. Uh, um, he- hello, Matthew Morehouse. Uh, please send liquor. <laughs> <laughs> and Sam, yeah, I will pay my, tab, my bar tab. Just so oh, you know. oh, <laughs> we both know that's not true, Rob. That's what you, you didn't say that earlier. Okay. Oh. So Matthew Morehouse makes a joke. Uh, <laughs> I'm not sure if they did it in a club. It's the Matthew Club. It is the Matthew Club, yeah. Okay. 
<laughs> I like to. I would actually love to find out Matthew Webb and Matthew Morehouse would have happened to get together. With Matthew running, with Matthew Webb running really cool science fiction and lots based on war on the stage, and Matthew Morehouse running running the best bar in in, in the world. <clears throat> it's a match made in heaven. It yeah. is. It is. Okay. So Matthew Morehouse saying you should go back to text only muds using Facebook and Messenger oh, as chat rooms. Oh, I remember that. I like that. Love it, Eric. That is retro. Uh, <laughs> like Matthew, Morehouse, Matthew Webb says he, he normally uses forums, private messages, or old style chat rooms. Oh, Matthew, I like your thinking. Matthew, yeah, I'm going to put a like on that. Matthew Webb is thinking he thinks he thinks Mozai's the Cantina is coming. Oh, that'd be yes, great. Yes, please. <laughs> that'd be great. A couple of big thumbs up from uh, from us there. <laughs> Definitely. Definitely. As, as long as long as the four of us can be the band, you know. <laughs> 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 it's marvelous. <laughs> we'll be up for that, and you know we would. Yeah. <laughs> that is true. <laughs> So I, yeah, I mean, this, this. I suppose this is what I was getting to. I, I've never really liked it, but I, th- I thought that sometimes that the characters that I play, um, you know, maybe I, you know, one would want to do something different. So picking up on what Stewie was saying about someone intervening on your part, well, you know, what if you don't have email, or what if you don't want to do that but still want to participate? I suppose the dis- the discussion I wanted was. Is there a better way, and have we moved away from email, which traditionally is very scripted, to something which is, you know, people meeting up or on a chat room like we are now, you know, actually and role playing that? Is that something that anyone's actually tried? That that, that is that that is the other thing I, I, I was thinking of. Like, depending on the size of your group, naturally, yeah, um, yeah. you you can get cheap voice servers or what have you now, whether it be mm. Discord or what have you, and that yeah. sort of thing. You could arrange for everyone to get together. And, and then kind of do do almost like a D and D style sort of yeah. tabletop um, uh, session, but for your for your play by mail, yeah. we'll to him because that's the one that's all the downtime. Um, and and you could do it that way, but of course, you always then run into the same problem, even that we have doing this show. You know, is everybody available tonight? <laughs> yeah, yeah, that's right. And I suppose if you were going to roll dice, you'd have to trust them that they were going to do it. What have you rolled, Luke? Ah, no. <laughs> 20 yeah. again. How, how, how is this four in a row? What happened? In it, I, in it, on a 20-sided dice, I've rolled 21. 43. <laughs> Who knew? Yeah. I mean, there are just there are as many ways to do PBM as there are to Blooming Larp. I like yeah. can, I, can I chuck in something yeah. Matthew Morehouse just said? And I like this a lot. Oh. Okay, how about multiple storylines? If you, if you read his comment, he said, how about contrast? Like, most TV series have lots of st- multiple storylines running simultaneously. Mm. A lot should just have one storyline. If you had loads of storylines to make sure the players are fully engaged. Oh, there's a see more on this. I've got to read, I've got to read more. Matthew, you're making me read tonight. Stop it. No, no, keep <laughs> it to read. Yeah, and then with, with multiple storylines, critical characters can drop in and out according, according to the storylines. Yeah, yeah, and I see yeah, that. Yeah, really, really nice idea. Or you, or, or potentially with a PBM again, it, it all depends on the person. But or potentially with the PBM, PBM could be strictly for the personal development. Yeah. So, for example, for those who want PBM, they basically are okay. This is going to be a story for you and just you. You can have companions come along who are up for mm-hmm. it and stuff like that. And what you do will kind of guide towards the next event. You know, yeah. but not as a big kind of thing. And then you all get back together for the next event and they explain what's going on and stuff. It's more of a personal thing rather than a group thing. Yeah. I agree with that. I think that that would be very good for those people who, um, I mean, I, I suppose I'm thinking it from it from an educational point of view as well. There are lots of people out there who don't feel comfortable with writing, typing, you know, because they might suffer with dyslexia, dyspraxia. Yeah. And so therefore it was offering another, you know, media that people could enjoy role playing. Because the great thing about role playing is there is very minimal um, paperwork, really, other than your character generation. There's really nothing. It's all about what you do on the day, your decisions that are made, you know, straight away. So although I can see the reason for PBM, I suppose the devil's advocate in me wanted to at least look at other medias as well so that you could do more of the visual conversations and carry on maybe something that wouldn't maybe translate on an email, you know, because... Yep. 
you know, we've all had those emails where you sat there going, is it, what is he being sarcastic now? Or what's going on? Um, I, look, I keep apologizing, Luca, right? But you just have to, you know, you have to read it in my voice and then you'll it's be fine. the language and the photographs, Stewie. You have to stop sending those. <laughs> By the way, I'm I'm instigating a new rule as well. I haven't told Rob or any of you a lot about this, but when oh, I think right. we're, we're now going to be talking too long on a particular subject, this is what's going to happen. Let's go, let's go, I'm bored, let's go. Okay, so when, <laughs> when I think we're, well, I think we've done, we done 30 minutes on this. I, I, I think uh -oh. we're, we're done. Uh-oh, uh -oh. Before, we, before you, you, you go off, just have a quick look at the comments because uh, there's some dice loading go, go, stuff going on there, and I've just rolled a one. <laughs> uh, nice. I, oh, that was um, yeah. that was Matthew Webb's one, wasn't it? Yeah. Nice yeah. Try that. I I'm not logged into Facebook unfortunately because I need to keep as much bandwidth as possible. All right, just like <laughs> okay, so we'll keep we'll keep treating these to you. Well. Okay, I'm yeah. watching it and uh, Luke's there as well, so we'll keep treating you with the stuff. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. Let's go, let's go, let's on go. Board. Let's go. Right then, so uh, let's let's move on to the stag do then. Uh, Rob, you you went okay. you went on to a, a stag do uh, last weekend yeah. Uh, yeah. That, that was actually done as a LARP for people. <laughs> it was a... Don't yeah. LARP. <laughs> actually, I I better clarify this a little bit. I wasn't actually attending the stag do. I was helping run the LARP at the stag do. Okay, we had about sixteen guys. A, a, a number, a small number of them. No, I think maybe six or so. We're actually okay. table toppers and board gamers. Right, yeah. Okay, so we had a number of the attendees were, were board gamers, tabletop RPGs, D&D fans. The yeah, others yeah. Were, had never experienced it at all in their lives. And yeah. none of them had experienced LARP before. So they managed to get in touch with uh, Wyvern's Tales. And oh. we set up a LARP just for them over at Oak Raven Field Centre up in the Forest of Dean. Which yeah, cool. Lovely site, largely indoors, but superb. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, the, 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 there's going to be a full review of this on our book with some photos, so that's coming hopefully in in the next few days. Uh, was, yeah. there, was there a bar? Yeah. Yes, Matthew, there was a bar. It was provided by by the lovely Sam. <laughs> uh, and it was, of course, the Crimson Moon. Oh, right. As long as if we're actually getting free advertising here. No, that's, that's, it. Right. That's, that's all you're getting. Um, Rob, 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 Rob Luke, can I, can I just just butt in just for one second? Oh. Um, we do have a new addition to the LARP book crew, um, and I think I think everybody needs to. Uh, it, this doesn't work very well for audio, uh, but it does work uh, very well. Oh, is this a sweet? Oh, oh, look at that. oh, oh how cute is that? He hasn't opened his eyes yet. It's it's oh. a, 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 a wonderful little little puppy. His name is Paprika. Uh, because we like to call all our dogs different spices, but he's really little cute. Little That's dog. a little puppy. And he squeaks. He squeaks. Oh, don't squeeze him. That's very I'm, cute. I'm not squeezing. He, he, he squeaks. He likes to squeak, but he's an oh. absolute little darling. Look at it. He's a little, little bit bit oh. Oh. <laughs> So there we go. <laughs> and Can we back him? And Ma. Can we change the show to just watching puppies? The watching um, puppies, yeah. We get better votings. Yeah. Oh, that felt bitter. That did not bitter. That's what no. that felt. I wish, I wish, I wish you could see Pepper, who's the mum. She, she is sat down by here now, looking, looking at Karen like this. What are you doing, my dog? What are you doing, my boy? <laughs> <laughs> or did she come in because she heard the crimson moon being there? Booze? Sorry, booze. Yeah, booze, yeah. Booze, 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 booze. Yeah. Okay. Um, okay. <laughs> Carry on. Let's go. Let's go. Aboard. Let's go. Okay. Okay. Stag do. Okay. Sixteen players. None of them laughers. So we we put them through some basic sort of um, middle age lap scenario. They we taught them how to fight with swords, shields, and bows. They had the crimson moon to booze. And we had Moorish in to do the food. I've got to say, Moorish, yeah. Go where Moorish is supplying the food. It was gorgeous. Uh, 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 uh. Actually, this is too into the this week in plugs. Oh, Jesus, <laughs> Rob. Yeah. How much are you getting paid? Yeah. <laughs> I did put on your laptop. <laughs> Just, <laughs> I was going to say, at least you'd want that, wouldn't you? Where's mine? I, 
I think as well, you know, I think there's there's possibly, you know, I I think Crimson Moon should be to donating some stuff to us again, so we we, we can do a Christmas uh, um giveaway. What, what do you reckon? Oh, no. Tommy's so yeah, angry, yeah. he's just walked away. <laughs> yeah, he did. Um, you haven't just got you haven't just got tea while we're talking about the while we're talking about the Crimson, huh? have you? We bore Tom that badly, he just stood up and went and made coffee. Mm. <laughs> Sorry, about that. Okay, <laughs> but he, here's a cool thing about, about the lap. <laughs> well, I'm so, sorry for de- derailing, but carry on. That's all right. They they loved it. They really they never experienced anything like it. They were oh. fighting, laughing. They were discovering stuff. We had them falling in the tunnels under Oak Raven. Cool. <laughs> I love those tunnels. Yeah, they and they had a, they 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 did get extremely drunk a few times, which is great. But they had a, they never, they ne- did not think that LARP was just going to be all in, no holds bar, non stop fun for like a couple of days. And this is and, it. People don't yeah. realize what, what a blast LARPing is. Mm-hmm. Yeah. But now a few of them look like they're going to start going to some of the big LARPs because they, they want more. They really yeah. wanted more. Excellent. So, it's only, uh, I suppose it's it's that link, isn't it? Because tabletop mm. and is how I got into LARP yeah. years yeah. ago. It, um, and I'm ex- I'm going exactly and doing the same. It. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And it is, but I like to go back to tabletop every once in a while. There is something about tabletop that is is quite good. Yeah, I mean, like, like I said, I I I do tabletop every every fortnight. D and D, absolutely, it's such a giggle. It's, it really it's brilliant. Is. It really is a lot of fun. If you get the right people with you, uh, then it's just it's incredible. It is absolutely incredible. Well, well, you you, you can imagine, you know, the crew. You know, you you you've, you've you've all met Lee. Lee is so duplicitous and and scheming and conniving and what have you that uh, <laughs> when we ever come to a puzzle that involves like truths of of people, we all look at him and go. Hey. Well, I mean, <laughs> You know, you can see he's kind of thinking like, "Am I going to? How am I going to actually answer truthfully, but not actually give anything away?" <laughs> I was always amazed by Gygax's ability to be able to just annoy everyone. So you'd have that box that everyone would check for traps, and then you'd open it, and it would naturally explode. And then in the box there would be protection against fire. Yeah. <laughs> <He's> evil. <laughs> oh, would would would. Luke or Tom like to vote, like to read the last comment from Matthew Morehouse to me. Says, Oh, it sounds good. Said, We've added a few more bottles to our mead range. How about a puppy cam and the Crimson Moon kerchief in the corner as a balancer? Yeah, I'm sure I can. Well, I, I've, I have actually got a puppy cam set up just for ourselves because oh, we both have. For God's sake, Edwards. <laughs> it's a puppy. I mean, come on. You know? no, 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 I'd be like that. <laughs> well, it's it's more to check that everything's okay, honest gov. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, yeah, you might be able to work something out there. But uh, whatever. Okay. So, so yeah. Um, so let's just re- recap then. Stag do was brilliant. Uh, yep. You and a bunch actually sort of um, ran things. They had a blast, and possibly new people now that are going to be going to slabs. Excellent. That, that's what I'm short sure of. Yeah. Okay. So for that, uh, coming shortly. Yeah. So so Tom, then you went to the uh, last weekend's Twilight Realms. Uh, tell us all. Uh, well, Twilight Realms is uh, um, a smaller LARP. It's on the small scale. It's around uh, normally between thirty to fifty people. Um, I can't remember how many there were this year. Probably around thirty, forty, something like that. And it's um, done by uh, Liz and Jamie. Who uh, and Jamie, if you don't know, uh, owns LARP in and stuff like that. So we get lots of goodies and stuff. Actually, we don't get lots of goodies, but the monsters get lots of goodies. <laughs> um, that, but... That's it. I'm I'm, I'm going to get a stone thing on you that says plug alert. I'm telling plug you. Plug alert. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I'll get my t-shirt on. <laughs> yeah, I've got. Just have to sit there. there. Over there. Yeah. I, I'm I'm going to make one go warning plug alert warning. <laughs> <laughs> what you might want to say oh. there, Tom, is uh, Jamie's also I, the owner of LARP In, where you can get 
good quality products, weapons, and anything you want <laughs> on www.larpin.co.uk forward slash I'm getting commission for this. <laughs> yeah, I, I'll only do that once he starts paying. <laughs> <In it. laughs> forward slash give us free stuff, Jamie. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Or oh, hashtag give us free stuff, Jamie. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, Tom. Go on, carry on. Where was I? What was I doing? What was I doing? Oh, Twilight Round. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Okay. So uh, this event was called Whitegate, um, and it was possibly the most physically intense. <laughs> <laughs> That, Sorry, Tom, that wasn't you. Matthew Ed just put a, a funny comment on Facebook. No, we're not going to talk about Pentex, okay? <laughs> what? Really, Matthew, please. <laughs> funny. But we're never going to mention it. Oh, Thank you. Sorry, Tom. Go on, carry on. I'll never get through this. Um, no, so, not. yeah. Um, to sum up what we were supposed to do, um, some players... Um, well, one pl one player died at the last event, and another player basically gave him this unknown potion, hoping it was a healing potion. Ah, uh, oh, <laughs> I'm, I'm, I'm afraid that was that, that was my fault. It's a rookie yeah. mistake. Why? Why? Head, Why? It? It was the, un the unlabeled bottle. I mean, he. Yeah. <laughs> I think this will be all right. Be yeah. fine. There's no label on it. What could go wrong? So. so what went um, wrong? Yeah. So uh, I mean, essentially, you don't, you don't want to know where they got the bottle from because I do know that. Yeah. <laughs> so go but on. essentially, he came back, but he wasn't. So he was dead. He came back, but he was dead. He was a living dead. He was undead. Um, but he still had all his thoughts. And um, basically, in this event, he had turned kind of like a vampire, but like this ultra super duper strong vampire. And essentially, he he had to decide uh, to uh, kill everyone. Because, you know, okay. evil people want to do that. And he wants to rule over all the dead. You know, because, again, that's what evil people do. And uh, the group's job was to essentially stop this ritual that he wanted to do uh, to stop that from happening. Essent what he wanted to do was summon a big continent called Anglen and drop it onto the planet, which will exterminate half the planet. Now, okay. Uh, this was a very personal kind of event for me, as I play uh, the Prince of Anglin, um, who is... Uh... Hang on, my continent. <laughs> yeah, well, it's, it's, I don't want to go too much into it, but Anglin's in like this demon realm, and there's the mortal realm, and I got sucked through a portal to the mortal realm, and my entire goal is to get Anglin back into the mortal realm. There. Um, but he, w he wanted to basically drop Anglin on the planet, kill most of the people, and then raise them and stuff like that. So our job was to stop it. Sounds like a plan. It was, as with most Twilight Realm events and all of them, it was absolutely phenomenal. It was funny. Uh, there was a great bunch of um, primitive people. Um, oh, what was his name? Chief. I can't remember what his name, but he basically was very, he was brilliant. Uh, Bradley did the character it was absolutely fantastic um he made me grind up against kez which was fun we've all been um, there yeah, all yeah, yeah 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 um yeah. and i don't think i not related to the grinding sweated so much in my entire yeah. life <laughs> you sure <laughs> that might be related. Um, it was tough it was a really tough event um where the players really didn't help themselves at they all. never do. No, they never do, but they really didn't help themselves this time because there was so much unsure. Yeah, it was just one at one point, um, they threw a player to this undead lich because the undead do? lich basically said, If you give me this person, I'll let you all live. This is an undead lich, okay? So one of them went, Okay, boom. It was one of our <laughs> fighters. Heavy armor, thrown, knocked out, thrown in. Guess what happens after? We now stroke. you have two dead liches against They just the attack. Army. And not yeah. only that, but they were all out of position. And before we even know it, half our fighting force just went, oh, for goodness sake, and just fell over. So it was 
basically borderline wiping, you know, a lot. Total party kill. But it was very intense. And at no point during that event did I feel I was cheated. You know, okay. there were times where you think, oh, this is just BS. Like a monster is like, oh, overpowered or they just keep sending wave after wave or something it was managed so well not just by the refs by but by the people who were actually playing the monsters as well they took it into their own stride to realize okay back off a bit maybe just like roar a bit give them time a breather or something to think they were fantastic in doing it and the whole event was phenomenal um, and we did well. We did well. We, we did what we needed to do. We got a few party deaths. Um, and... You did what you needed to do. You had a few party deaths. Yeah. yeah. Uh, were it's you on the other it's... side then? <laughs> it's, nah. it depends on who it was. It was a yeah. terrible. It was a terrible, terrible event for my character because literally every single Anglin, almost every single Anglin that went through with him died. It was awful. It was a terrible, terrible event for my character. Are you saying you, you led a load of characters to their deaths? Pretty much. And, and I must say, well, I, 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 I've always had a problem with the term undead, right? You know, if you're undead, then you're living because you're un Yeah, um, you're unliving. Unliving? Unliving. Is that a better term? <laughs> Oh, I can see some Matthew Webb and Matthew Morehouse now. It's physically, they can't type quick enough with, oh, my God, what are you on about? Um, <laughs> I'm okay with uh, undead, dead, living. Dead, undead. Living. Can't make it in mind. Yeah. Uh, but yeah, uh, oh, overall, it was a fantastic event. And I have you cannot... noticed as well, Tom, that with any Jamie event, you start second-guessing yourself? Yeah. Because oh, he's... My God. He's a yeah. super duper, isn't he, at making you paranoid? Oh, and yeah. You the amount... overthink everything. The amount of times mm. I had to think, oh my God, is this the right thing? Am I going to. <laughs> and he will I have go... you. Yeah. He, when you did the tabletop, he would always sit there and he'd say, so who's going to open the door then? And you go, yeah. Oh, yeah. He goes, Which hand are you using? Yeah. <laughs> He's a bugger. Go, why, why would you want to know that? And he goes, just choose a hand. Yeah. <laughs> My my right one, you sure? Yeah, 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 right one. <laughs> then he'd roll a dice for no other reason than he could. Yeah, <laughs> go, yeah door opens. And he'd be sweating. You'd be suddenly going, oh, just opening a door. Terrifying. Never going to survive this. Something is going to grab again. my hand, it's going to rip yeah. it off, whatever. Yeah, yeah. It's and then absolutely terrifying. Very casually, he'd sit there and go, oh, by the way, can you just take 20 points of damage? You're behind you, just slashed you. And you'd be suddenly going, what? I'm still recovering from opening the door over there. Yeah. What are you talking about? <laughs> and in, in this event, there was this gate um, that the main bad guy wanted to use, but the inscription on the gate was saying that uh, once the gate is open, Anglin will go on a crusade to defeat evil. But then scratched at the bottom in, like, knights basically saying this gate should not open. So you're going... Well, what the fudge? <laughs> do we open the gate or do we not open the gate? Yeah, and it had everyone second guessing. We had it's no idea. Print. The small print will get you every time, mate. Yeah. And um, in the end, this is this is this is brilliant. In the end, we had to go to the past in two thousand years in the past um, to find this ten-year-old boy, right? And we're supposed to kill him, right? Um, guess who killed him? You? Oh, no. no. Rob will know who killed him. No. Rob? Who killed him? Yeah, guess who killed the small 10-year-old boy? My character? No. no. <laughs> Rob, were you man. actually there at all? Do you remember anything about Rob, this? Rob, Rob, Rob wasn't there. He couldn't go. No, no, no. no. Okay, well, it was Martin. Martin's... Was... Ah! <laughs> See, come on! Rob knows now. Rob knows. Okay. Now, um, he's one for um, just killing people left, right, and centre. Right, okay. His nickname is McStab Elfie Stabby Stab or something like that. Um, and it was brilliant. He basically, we were all discussing and we were trying to consider, okay, we've got to kill this child. And it's a moral thing. It's a real moral thing. And for me, I, this person I, was responsible for Anglin, one of the people for Anglin being away. So I go, if I kill him, maybe I stop Anglin from being disapp disappearing to the demon but, realm. Really, really sorry. I'm going to take a little break and step out for a moment. But in the meantime, Tom, please keep talking. And also, guys, Great comments on Facebook. <laughs> okay. Oh, it is. Yes, uh, yes. 
I think um, the the Matthews are are, are at it. Um, oh, they're all, so they're, they're all, right. I mean, they're all I, over it. I would I would say as well, Luke Luke and I certainly when we've been a lot of the games, Tom, we've got no problem slaughtering children. You know, if they're in the way. Yes, but you're normally playing monsters. Yeah. Oh, no. um, not even then. <laughs> <laughs> just, just, just generally, just killing, you know. Yeah, kind of like, generally. Just um, killing. But it, it is hard because I mean, the, the the thing I like about those kind of uh, things is is that when you've got the right kind of mix of people, you can create paranoia. Oh yes, yes. you can, and it's really easy to do. And I have to say, Andy Lapping was another good one at creating that atmosphere where you sat there going, "I actually genuinely don't think I'm going to come out alive on this at all." Every fortnight, mate. Every fortnight, I am basically thinking to myself, "Oh well, here comes a new character." Yeah. Let's... <laughs> you, you got a photocopy of some basic stats. <laughs> well, I know, right? I know he's actually got around about six or seven pre-made characters just sat in a drawer, <laughs> right? Yeah, yeah. Because we do, we do really stupid things, you know. And he's like, "Oh, well, you're dead then." Uh, I'll go grab another character. Yeah, can... yeah, yeah. <laughs> Love it. Love it. And of course, what's great about it is that um, having two children, I don't know whether you know, um, but uh, Izzy mm. is one of those kind of things that will, um, sh she gets into the character, so she would play that. <laughs> what worries me sometimes is what she's saying at school. You know, what did you do over the weekend? <laughs> well, I was murdered. <laughs> so I got better. Um, and then there was, you know, and and it's just, you know, you hear they they, they get so into it. And I always remember my mum doing this when I was very very young, it was pre sixteen, and we did an all night D and D session. I was playing with my friend Carl, and we went to hell. <laughs> and uh, and I said that to my mum, who's horribly Christian. Um, and and I sat and she said, oh, "Where are you going?" I said, "We're doing a uh, D and D for charity." And she said, "What are you doing?" And I went, "I'm going to hell." And she went, "Yeah, back to bed." Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and yes. so, uh, but I mean, you know, from there, it, it was just such a good, and I like those kind of things. I think that if you, you know, sometimes for me, I mean, I suppose I've always gotten more out of doing the monstery bit because uh, for me, it's just causing mayhem. That's what I like to do. Um, and yes. but I, I love it when you've got the right kind of group, because for as much as the monsters can really take it on, you know, board, the party can kill themselves as well really well without monsters being there. Absolutely. Yeah. It, it, most, uh, in, in my opinion, most of the time, the party are their own worst enemy. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. And that's what mm. I love about what Jamie will do, because he'll give you a little feed, you a little piece of information. And that's it. And he's suddenly going, oh, do I tell anyone? Because he said I really shouldn't. I need yeah. to. I need to share now. And he knows exactly what it is you're going to do. <laughs> he's already preempted that. And then you go and tell someone, which is what he wanted you to do, but you're battling with yourself not to do it. And then all of a sudden it will just go away. Well, and the party will just implode. It will just turn it's in on brilliant. itself. It's yeah. brilliant. And those, yes. those have been some of the best uh, role play events I've been to where there aren't that many monsters. There are monsters, no. but they're not that many because they're just not needed. Yeah, no. absolutely. You know? absolutely. Um, and, and I kind of, I don't know about you, I'm a big fan of character death. I think you should yeah. lose characters there's, during all events. There's one. <laughs> there's yeah, one move rule on. that I've because some people are uh, get oh, really attached oh, to their yeah. characters, don't they? Yes, they do. Yeah, we. I mean, we. He's right to move us on on this, but yeah. you, you know, I know what you mean. Yeah. Oh, God, uh, character death. That, that's well, definitely I, I was, what I'm on about. I was just going to say that my number one rule. Oh, I can't steal. <laughs> <laughs> And <laughs> uh, there's the explicit tag for iTunes. <laughs> uh, yeah, we thanks, Tom. Every <laughs> uh, yeah, pretty much. I just leave the tick now. Mate. It's fine. This month's um, threats winner goes to. <laughs> <laughs> right there, we have we have actually um done some updates on the web page as well. Um, okay. So so Rob, I mean, and and I know this has been. All Rob, I've been absolutely nothing towards this in any way, shape, or form. I'll tell you now. Uh, so Rob's done. So um, update to the show notes archive and updates to the live page. So do you want to just tell people a little bit about what what you've done, Rob? Okay, all we've done there is we've made the our top menu. We've got a link that goes to Laughbook Live, 
and yeah. all that is is a page that was posted previously to things like Twitch, uh, yeah. YouTube. But since now we're focusing on Facebook, all yeah. it does is throws you squarely when the show to our Facebook page. Because that's where okay. all the shows are happening now. Cool. If anybody wants to know how to find the show, you go there, you click on it, you end up back in the Facebook page. And Good as long call. as we, we remember to tell people when the show's on, we're going to be great. Hey. That's true, Joel. Well, he's doing it well. Yeah. The Rapture Archive, wait, wait. Okay. The Rapture Archive is over, the, over time, we've built up a lot of podcasts and a lot of lab book shows. We've decided now to call what was the podcast. We renamed it now to Lab Book Show. Yeah. We decided calling it Lab Book Podcast didn't make that much sense anymore. So everything is now Lab Book Show. And we rebuilt the archive to be a lot more. Let's just say a lot of visual tiles taken to the show notes for every single episode. Yeah, yeah. I oh. mean, we, we we are now amassing quite a back catalogue, uh, I, I must be honest, which is great. You know, for anybody that's actually coming to, to listen to listen or, or to look at the show, watch the show, for the first time, there is so much now, so much content for them to actually consume. Um, that's, you know, fantastic as far as I'm concerned. Yeah, so all the shows that, are, that we have video for, they're streaming video, either links or in the more, more up-to-date ones, actual streaming buttons. We've got streaming buttons for audio where we could where we could do it. I haven't gone back to every single episode and done a new streaming button for all of them yet, but that's possibly a nice job for the future. Lack of um, commitment. Pardon? What do you mean lack of commitment? <laughs> what do you mean lack of commitment? <laughs> yeah, Rob. <laughs> you can see the steam rising, can't you? <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah, there's a lot more to do on the website. Yeah, it's a it's a long way from being. Oh, it's a work in progress. It's always a work in progress, mate. It doesn't, no, it doesn't... Always, always. But at least now you can get to it's all all the shows have a sensible name and you can get to all the shows. <laughs> sensible name. Well done. <laughs> <laughs> a lot of show because it's sensible. Because it's sensible. <laughs> yeah. um, so no, we're yeah. Not. <laughs> and we never want to be. Whenever this show becomes really serious, please we're all out. Know. please yeah, go. please. Please point out to us on Facebook that we're being serious, and we'll stop it immediately. Yes. Um, <laughs> you know. Yeah. Yeah. Um, just say no. <laughs> just, just say, just say no to okay. any kind of seriousness. Stop it immediately. You know, talking of advertising, we've missed a trick here, Stuart. Go on. Well, couldn't we have advertised ourselves with your new phone case? Oh, I think I hear well, another plug coming. You know, I I, I love the segue uh, there, Luke. Um, I. <laughs> I do, I do have a new phone case that bought. I, uh, you know, I, I got the eight plus, and the you know, oh. uh, doesn't work very well for audio, but um, but there it is. It's the Lartbook logo on a white background, and I think it works and looks very, very nice. Okay. Fair play. For, is that rather for those of you on audio, Stuart's holding at the back of our sexy new phone case, it's pure white with the Lartbook logo in red and in orange and black. Yeah. And how much is this piece? Logo because it's on the back of an uh, iPhone 8. Excellent oh. question. Uh, well presented, Luke. I, I can't remember. Um, <laughs> but, uh, the, the thing is, even though we're not technically using them as much anymore, Redbubble do the best cases. So what we may have to do yeah. is link just to the cases part. Um, yeah, yeah, yeah. Website or what have you. Because so, yeah. The cases are good. Hang yeah, on a second. We... Hang on. Whoa, 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 whoa. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Whoa, 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 whoa. What phone did you say you've got against you? The 8 Plus. That's not Apple, then. The iPhone 8 Plus. The iPhone 8 Plus. Oh, sorry, I thought then for a moment you'd gone over to Samsung and you'd come over to the dark side. Oh, that's uh, that's probably um, never going to happen. Oh, dear Pretty much. Me. Yeah. Samsung. I am, I am an Apple guy. It's as simple as that. I mean, I have technically come over to Samsung because I do believe they actually produce the actual. Um... <laughs> <laughs> yes, they produce most of your yes. phone. Let's just call it what it is. Yeah. Yes, yes they do. <laughs> so, so technically, I per se, I have. You know, best but... of both worlds. 
exactly. So I, I've, I've got, I've got the, the Samsung screen goodness, but with the, the Apple, uh, the interface I like better. I've really tried. I've tried and tried. I've tried Android, and I, I just can't get on with it, and I hate it. It's just me, you know. It's it's. I'm I'm not disparaging any other sort of Android and what have you. Users, I know, I know, I know. Luke, you got one. Rob, you've got one. Tom, what 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 do you use? I use Nokia. Android. Nokia brick. <laughs> <laughs> um, you know, so I'm I'm basically the only Apple fanboy in in this bunch, to be honest. Oh, with you are on your own, boy. You're on yeah. your own. You know, hey, I am I am an individual that with everybody else that bought the 8 plus um but, uh, <laughs> but that is a nice so is that just is that fine can you buy different cases by the way because uh for a working girl like me uh, oh, yeah. who needs a little bit of protection on the front and the back yes uh, what, can you, so you can get a different case that's that's a good there thing are, to... there are different cases there and i believe i have matched them all up to each case i went down the list and you have yeah. to sort of, you know tweak yeah. it to different locations yeah or it also could be that i got to a point where i got i went i've got the case i want buy um yeah. i'm not i'm not sure uh, <laughs> i'll have to look at that at some point but um <laughs> maybe yeah. this could be something we could all club together and get one of our lovely listeners if they you know kind of to, to promote because we've just changed haven't we i can yeah. see you all looking at me going all right fatty you can pay for that then but <laughs> Um, but I'm you know just thinking, how much kit I bought. Do you know how much kit I bought? You've got a puppy. I've just I I've just brought a brand new 4K camera for us to do sort of. Uh, Bloody hell! Really. Honestly, this so, is over there. Well, I think you can buy buy the bloody case <laughs> well, for as a Christmas thing. If if Crimson Moon are providing his his will have a hamper. If okay. for whatever reason Crimson Moon are going to provide mead. Then I will definitely provide someone with a phone case, and as long as it's not a stupid cost, I will you know, kind of uh, then, well, then I, that will be my little gift. The to problem, the, the problem with it, okay, yeah. I mean, I mean, what we're gonna have to do, right? The, the Crimson Moon will have to be UK based, right? yes, 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 yes. But the case can be global, you know, yes. it can be anything in the yes. world. So, and so we'll have to think of something now, won't we, too? Yeah. We'll do two competitions then. One, one that's UK based. Someone that wants to, you know, have alcohol. Um, and, Who doesn't? Uh, I mean, <laughs> well, <laughs> I, so not me. Uh, <laughs> can you imagine doing the draw and then Thomas wins? Oh, come on, really? <laughs> my, my entire, my entire tab bill, right, with the Crimson Moon, is orange juice and lemonade. <laughs> <laughs> You know, and maybe the odd packet of crisps, right? Oh, but going crazy. Apart, apart from apart from that, or, or or a beer that Rob that Rob has, or something like that, right? You know, it's literally that that is my tab. Yeah. Right? It's orange juice and lemonade. But there we go. Yes, so, uh, for a Christmas present, then I will provide the phone case. Rob, are, what, are you gonna are you gonna give anything other than your love? Oh, maybe, well, I'll maybe. Tell you what, I'll make sure the the actual competition happens, and maybe I'm not taking an extra, an extra, an extra oh, case of some kind. Well, well, what we'll do is we'll figure out. Oh, perhaps, we oh no, 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 no. One of the new, perhaps one of the new, impossible to get bad book t shirts. <gasps> oh, yeah, that would be a present. So, hang on a second, let's recap here. So, we've got mead, we've got a phone case, potentially a, a t shirt here. Yeah. I'm going to get into this competition. There's a lot to win. <laughs> Tom, Tom, hang on. Tom. Yes. Your turn. <laughs> uh, I'll give some hair. I don't know. I don't know. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, oh, oh. What else have we got to give? You don't have to, Tom, all right? Oh, no. just, <laughs> we're just pressuring that's, you unnecessarily. It's just yeah, that's the old bogeys, mate. You know, but, you know, I, I know you're a young working man and what have you. That sounded a little bit dirtier than it should have done um, <laughs> that felt filthy that did yeah. that was only once right no, i'm uh, sure i could contribute to something i just don't know oh, yet excellent, don't know excellent. yet i'll think of something yeah perhaps uh perhaps yeah something let's go let's go on board let's go, let's go. Let's go. Let's go. <laughs> I really like that button. Right. Um, so let's let's move on then to Heathen LARP. I believe that's you again, Rob. Um, you want to tell us all about this crewing or what have you? I think this is obviously a UK-based thing, I'm presuming. 
that is UK based, only for UK based. But I've I've just signed up to Crew Heaven Lap Three next July, first weekend of July next year. Uh, and I'm really looking forward to it. I had my eye on Heaven Lap for the last couple of events. And now I'm going. Okay. Um. When 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 you say crewing, is this monstering? Is this NPCing? What what's it going to be? Or whatevering? Is it? I haven't the astral speaking rules. This is going to be general. So this is. I think I'm pretty much going to join an army. Woo! Oh. As you do. So that, okay. That's, so even up as far as I can make out, is fundamentally uh, Vikings and Anglo-Saxons. Okay. Potentially put me down for that. Okay. Okay. Put, yep. Yep. Put me on maybe. Yeah. Okay. Uh, First weekend of July. Um, the crewing is actually free, and they they're going to feed people as well. There's food. <laughs> And, 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 and as if Thomas's ears would suddenly prick up and go, I'm sorry, what did you say? Food? Oh, then I would say food. He's young, he's not just starving. <laughs> <laughs> it's almost as if we're going to buy the poor boy, is it? And go, Look, there are cakes come into the room. Um, there, are, there are cakes come in, come in. <laughs> well, we know well, we can always buy him with tea. Trust me, to get me to a lab, all you have to say is a lab, it's just whether or not I have time. Yeah, oh, yeah, that's true. That is, that's, that's, that's a fair well, point. And okay. don't, don't worry too much about accommodation and what have you. Rob's now, Rob's got a bell tent uh, now as well, mate. So it's, it's all good. Yeah. It's going to yeah. become lap book central. Uh, it's as simple as that. We'll all uh, catch up together. We, we, we're now a two, we are now a two bell tent organization. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Honestly, we, Rob, I have to show you this other tent. And it's. Oh, God, yes. Yeah. It's twice the size of the one I've already got, which it, it, you know is pretty huge. We, um, the big tent. we need to make a giant sign to stick outside the tent. Laugh. No, we're we're yeah. actually we're actually kind of already on on that case on that one. So yeah. Yes. yeah. <laughs> I I just have to get the design looking right, and and then that, that that's going to be purchased soon as well. It's that's a, amazing. The, nice. it's a canvas, canvasy sign. That is actually windproof as well. It's all meshed, so uh, that's, that's, uh, nice. that's that's quite cool. I'm hoping to have that done ready before we actually go to LARPCon as well. Uh, oh, Stu, so... we also have to mention LARPCon. Okay, La we got a LARPCon. Um... <laughs> done. <laughs> Moving on. <laughs> yeah, we're we're going. We're all going, aren't we? We've booked the hotels. We're, we're going to LARP. Let's go, let's go, let's go. No, 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 we're going back to the This time we're all going to LAPCON. We have a yeah. table. We have a sexy banner in design. Um, we booked hotels and we paid for our table. So we're going. So, so LAPCON, it's going to be a little lap book going on LAPCON. Bad luck. Yeah. And, um, when and, it? Yeah, when is it? February? No, it's, it's not. It's not. It's not. It's not. We ought to get this right because that might be a complete different art kind. Are we all going to separate ones? <laughs> then go to the one in the US. Is that right? <laughs> That's right. Yeah. Don't think you need your tent for that. <laughs> <laughs> ah, one moment, caller. Labcon is on the second of March. Very yeah, March in twenty eighteen. And yeah. whereabouts, Rob? Don't say England now. It's in Colville, UK. Colville. Yeah, yeah. Near, Colville. Lester, oh, near, near Leicestershire. Leicester, 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 Leicestershire. Yes, and we're all going to that. Oh, yeah. um, oh, that's that's one thing I wanted to mention as well. So I, I completely forgot about this. I think I skipped through it as well, uh, or I, I might have done. We, we've had a massive increase in followers as well um, for the podcast, uh, mainly on. We'd be hosted Podbean, yeah. Uh, mainly on Podbean, which is great. I've been getting emails coming through left, right, and centre, going like, "You've got a new follower, a new follower." So thank you very much for everybody Aww. now following us on, yeah. on Podbean, which is fantastic news. Thank you. Um, you know, so it's it's great because let's grow, let's tell everybody, you know, and uh, hopefully they'll find they'll have as much fun listening to this as we do actually doing it. To be honest, <laughs> I don't uh, think I'm... anyone will ever have as much fun listening as we do doing. <laughs> <laughs> You know, do you so know what? I think we should do one time, though. I think we should all get together and do a broadcast if we dare. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah. Oh, I, mean, I think yeah, yeah. there should be. There should I'm be. Sorry, a what? Just where we all get together. A, a broadcast. A broadcast. Just all of us together. Not in our homes around oh. the country. We all get together. 
Well, we're not exactly connected. far from each other. Let's be honest. Well, well, we're next door. Well, to be honest with you, Luke. I mean, we know we we, we know it can't be at your house because. <laughs> oh. You know. Why? Why would you say that? I mean, we've shed puppies. Yeah, I know. We have. We, we have. There's we have been shed. laughter. There's been tears. Tom's gonna made a cup of tea. I have. <laughs> it was very nice. And he came back. That's yeah. how dedicated that man is. Exactly. Exactly. Right then. So, um, are, are we kind of done for tonight? Is there anything anybody else wants to add? Uh, no. No. Excellent, Luke. No, Tom. I don't think so. No. Oh, no. um, events Ooh. coming up. Don't we do events coming up? Yeah, uh, when when we actually look for them. No, we have got. <laughs> <laughs> I know there are actually two events coming up. Go for Tom. Oh, you go, should go, know go. this, Stu. I, I, yeah, but I don't have um, I don't have the information to hand. So. We could do vague event news, couldn't we? This is vague, going vague, on. Yeah, vague event there news. Are, Some games coming up. There's, uh, there's uh, loads content. going on. It's all happening over the weekend somewhere. Yeah, yeah, exactly. And that's going to be good, if I'm honest. honest. I can get this now. Hang on. I know there is one. Okay, so there is a Fear of the Dark event at the end of this month on the... 27th of October yeah. to the 29th, which is a masquerade, a modern day masquerade ball. Now, this is, yep. will be the first time I have ever gone to a Fear of the Dark oh, event. You're going? I am yeah. going. Rob, I might have to follow you up in the car because you oh, know where the hell you're going and I don't. <laughs> Actually, I would, re I would recommend you following somebody up in the car because it's hard to find, but I've had to duck out of that one because I have to go to Cornwall that weekend. Oh, okay. Uh, uh, I but, don't think but, there's but, anyone else coming, is there? Uh, oh, yeah, yeah, loads. Um, no, I meant where I am. Uh, loads. <laughs> well, yeah, loads. I mean, Dave Kahn and all the rest of it, they'll be going uh, up. There's going to be oh. Dave Kahn, too. There's going to be quite a few going. Ooh, yeah. Okay. So, yes, there are people to follow. And I would recommend it because it's a wonderful site. It's really hard to find. Right. Oh, but in terms of fear of, the, fear of the Dark, I will be at the one at the end of November. Which is Survivor, which is their first post apocalyptic mm. horror. I'm very tempted to go to that one as well. Oh come on, Tom, go to that one as well. It's 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 it depends on how this one goes, really. That's fair. That's I'm fair. I'm going to judge it. I've right. heard nothing but good things from Stu and everyone who has gone to it. Um that by the end of the weekend I will be admitting myself into a mental asylum. Yeah. Um, yeah. <laughs> right then. Okay. I'm. I, I'm gonna have to wrap this up now, guys. All right. So, um, so a big thank you to all of our lovely patrons who actually make it a little bit easier to keep this show going. Uh, if you could actually sort of spare a dollar a month, right, it really helps us out uh, to buy new kit and to well just pay for things, which would be great. You know, uh, we don't actually sort of take any remuneration at the moment because we just basically keep putting money in. So if you can help out, that'd be great. If you can't, then tell others about the show. That helps us out equally as well. Um, so if you'd like to get in contact with the show, just email contact us at larpbook.com. Uh, if there's a topic that you would like us to discuss or something cool you saw, or even fancy you writing an article for the website, then email the show, contact us at larpbook.com. Uh, music was provided by Ben Sound at bensound.com. Like I said, if you want to help us out, go across to the Patreon, patreon.com forward slash larpbook. Uh, you can get to the shop now, which is up on larpbook.com. Just click on the shop button. It'll take you there. You can listen to the podcast on iTunes, Stitcher, YouTube, Twitch, Podbean. Just search for Larpbook in whatever you use to actually listen to your podcast and you will find us. Uh, I've tried to make sure of that. Uh, don't forget, email the show, contact us at larpbook.com. The website is obviously over at larpbook.com. News, reviews, and wonderful, cool things there. You can follow us on Facebook, Twitter, Google+. Just search for Larpbook and you will find us. And don't forget, if you really like the show, then please give us a five-star review on iTunes. That really helps us out. Um, I've been Stuart. That's been Luke. That's been Rob. That's been Tom. Thank you very much and goodbye, everybody.